good day. So, in continuation with our letter cutting, we have to make our letter K. So, in making our letter K, we have provided the 2 cm stem of the letter. Then, on the other side, another 2 cm. Then, as for the inclination or the inclined part of the letter K, what we're going to do is find the center of the height or the one half height of the uh, measurement that we have, which is 10 centimeters. So, therefore, the center is 5 centimeters. So, after measuring 5 centimeters on both sides, we have to make a horizontal line just like this then draw horizontal line then what you're going to do is to connect this location to the center line then draw your inclined line and the corner this is this corner then connect it the, to this location so this is now the upper inclination of our letter T while this corner will be connected to this location then inclined line and this location to this upper corner now we have here our letter k so what we're going to do is to cut the excess or the unnecessary portion of the paper so that we will now produce our letter K. Okay, just like this. So as I've said, we have to control our blade not to exceed the lines that we are allowed to cut. So, this is now our letter K. Okay, so the next letter that we have not made yesterday is this letter Z, uh, Y. So, we have here our stem which is 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters both sides. So, we have to find the center of the width of the letter which is 7.5 one half is 3.75 so next is we have to offset right and left one centimeter each side then in on the upper portion another location of the one half of the paper which is 3.75 then offset left and right one centimeter each side then draw your vertical line vertical line then what we are going to do is to find the center which is five centimeter or one half of the height five centimeter then draw horizontal line connecting the two points that you have made then we can now make our letter Y so this is just as simple as this this location connected to the upper corner and this location to the 2 cm stem of the letter then on the other side stem of the letter which is 2 cm located uh, connected to this location then this location this corner to this location and we can now make our letter Y so cut the excess paper we have to cut this one you can now see that we have slowly got the letter Y we have to be careful not to exceed beyond the line that we should be cutting 
So, this is now our letter Y. As for the last letter or the straight line letter what you have not made is the letter Z. So, we have here our stem, both left and right, and also the upper and the lower. So, what we're going to do is to connect this location to the lower portion of the paper. Then, on the other side, now we have our letter Z. So, cut the excess or the unnecessary portion of the paper. This one. Okay, so this is now our letter Z. Okay, so next is the wide letters in the alphabet, which is which are the M and letter W. So this time we're using the 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters measurement. So we will make first the letter M. So as you can see, I have here my two centimeter stem, both sides left and right. Then what I am going to do is to find the center of the paper, which is five centimeter. Then offset left and right one centimeter each to satisfy the width of the or uh, the stem of our letter, which is two centimeters. So these two centimeters on the center will be connected to the upper corner of the paper. Then this one to the next uh, the stem which is 2 cm then on the other side the same procedure we have to connect then this one and we have now our letter m so we have to cut this portion and this is a part of the paper Okay, so this is now our letter M. So as you can see, we have here our letter M. The last one on the straight line letters in the alphabet is the W. The same measurement, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So since our letter W has an inclined portion, so I am going to measure 1 cm on the left side as well as on the right side. So to satisfy the width or the stem of the letter which is 2 cm, I am going to measure 2 cm from the uh, location where I uh, measured 1 cm. So, this is now our stem of the letter. And on the other side, I also have to measure 2 centimeters to satisfy the width. Now, what we're going to do is to find the center of the top portion of the paper. So, one half of the width is 5 centimeters. Then, offset left and right. This is now the center of the paper. So, what we're going to do is to make the inclination of the stem of the W another on the other side the same then what we're going to do is to connect this location to this location and also on the other side then this one will be connected to this location and also this one will be connected to the next and on the other side the same procedure opposite this one then this one now the last step is to cut the unnecessary portion
then the last one or and not yet the last one okay this one and this is the last one so that we can now see that we have our letter w Okay, this is now our letter W. So, as for the next group of letters that we need to make is the curved letters or the, the letters which has curved lines. So, we need our compass this time and also our 45 by 90 triangle. So, I hope that you will wait for the next video which we will be tackling on the curve line or curve letters in the alphabet thank you very much